What's up, my guys? Today I'm answering your most asked question. How do I get her back? Usually I advise your desperate ass to give her some space, but here are some things you can work on while still giving it time to breathe. Number one, get in the gym. This one's pretty hypocritical coming from me. But do you really think I'm gonna want you less when you walk into a bar looking like you just finished prepping for a role in Avengers? Avenge me, that joke. But we love a blow up, you get the point. Groom yourself. Guys, a fresh haircut and a beard trim goes a long way. I find myself swiping right on beat faces just because they have a fire grenade. It reminds me of my Air Force days. I wasn't actually in the Air Force. I just spent a lot of time on base. And if I'm swiping right, so are others. When women get in line, exes fall in line. We all know this. Dress better. Why are you wearing your field day sweatshirt from middle school? And why are you wearing those skinny jeans that went out of style four years ago? It looks like they're cutting off your circulation. Do hold on, hold on. Style is subjective, okay? I would rather be comfortable than wear what looks good. Cause I can wear these pair of jeans and all the girls say, oh, these jeans look really good on me. These jeans look really nice on me. But the thing is, I feel uncomfortable in them. So if I'm feeling uncomfortable, then I'm not gonna be confident. I think y'all should wear what makes y'all feel comfortable because if y'all are wearing a shirt that makes you feel uncomfortable, then you're gonna be feeling all funny style all night. You notice how when you get dressed, you put on something you like, you know what I'm saying? You're wearing some, some pair of jeans and a shirt that you really like and you're like, yeah, they, I look fly as fuck. And you're feeling confident as fuck? Well, that's the feeling you want. Also, why are your gym shoes, dress shoes, and street shoes all the exact same shoes. Who in the world would take you seriously? Show the world that you take yourself seriously. Because otherwise, she definitely won't. And lastly, detach. Let's be honest, probably the most important part. You have to do this for you, not for her. You cannot allow a girl that broke your heart to be the one who controls your drive. Stop doing things for others and start doing things for yourself. Have That's a fact. If it isn't her coming back to you, it's going to be someone even better. That's real confidence. All right, y'all. How to get her back? After messing up, y'all been asking, and your girl got an answer for you. Let's get into it, family. Number one, allowing her the space to process. Mm -hmm. Number two, do not try to control the process. Let her define what that looks like for her and play ball. Number three, do not beg. Maintain that masculine energy of yours. Mm. Number four, acknowledge her feelings. Don't diminish, gaslight, don't go tit for tat, just acknowledge. Number five, this one's important. Take ownership of faults. Whoo, this is where a lot of people fall short. They would rather find ways to get out of being held accountable. Listen, y'all, I am weak for a good, genuine, heartfelt apology. I mean, it wins every time. Number six, evolve. If there's yep. a way to do things better, and you know it, bro, do the work. It's not just for her, it's for you. Number mm -hmm. seven, be consistent. And number eight, be thoughtful. Speak that love language fluently. Don't let that ego get in the way. I really like everything these ladies were saying, right? They were mainly talking about how just becoming a better version of yourself. Really just become better than you were when you were with her, right? That's really the main thing you can do to get an ex to come back, guys. So now we are going to talk about how to keep a woman coming back in the two main stages of when you approach her and after y'all go on a date. Number one, how do you keep a woman coming back after you approach her? You have to instruct her. What I mean by instructing her is you want to instruct her to give you her number. Right? Instead of saying shit like, hey, can I have your number? I thought you were super cute. I was wondering if I could have your number. That sounds weak as fuck. What you want to do instead is you want to say, hey, pull out your phone and put my number on it. Hey, put your number in my phone. That's what you want to do. That sounds a lot more masculine and a lot more assertive. And the woman's natural feminine energy is going to want to follow that masculinity. When you get her number, you want to continue to instruct her. You want to tell her, hey, meet me at this place at this time on this day so we can have drinks or so we can have coffee, so you can go to the museum, so you can grab a slice of pizza. You want to continue instructing her. You want to continue to tell her what you want her to do. Women are looking for instruction guys she wants to make shit happen with you she wants these things to go down but she's looking for you to lead the interaction to where she's trying to go number two if you want to keep a woman coming back after you guys go on a date you want to create sexual tension and create a nice vibe on the date women decide to go on dates because they want to have fun women decide to go out because they're looking for a guy that's going to give them a good time so what you want to do when you're all on a date with the chick, you want to have a nice playful vibe. You want to be flirting, right? You want this to be on this nice interaction of, I, I'm sitting here right now, we're having a good time. I'm flirting with you, you're flirting with me, and we really like each other, and this is going awesome. You're a cool guy. This is just great, 
right? That's what women want. What you do not want to do is you don't want to go on the date on some goofy shit. You don't want to make this woman regret her decision and coming out with you by being weird or awkward or even disrespectful. You don't want to do anything to kill the vibe because she came out with you looking for a good time, right? You don't want to be sitting here asking, being on some interview mode, asking her a bunch of questions, right? You want to make statements, have a nice conversation. Make sure you, you, you're making moves to break the physical touch. Make sure you're looking into her eyes when you're talking to her. Make sure you're flirting with her, right? Because she's just looking for you to lead her to a good time. The worst thing you can do on the date is just have being weird, asking weird questions, you feel what I'm saying? Talking about a, bu a bunch of bullshit that doesn't matter. If you wanna keep the chick coming back after the date, you must make sure you remain cool, you remain confident, you keep the shit interesting, keep spicing it up, keep making moves at the same time. You have to make moves to make things happen because nothing's gonna happen unless you make moves and go after it and make sure this shit happen. All right, because she wants to make out with you on the date. She wants to go back to your place. She wants to do all these things with you. It's just up to you to make all these things happen. If you want to find out what makes women sexually attracted to you, click the video on the screen.